Uh, hi, my name is David Brook from HCC Embedded. Uh, we're here at the Embedded World Show in Nuremberg uh, demonstrating a completely fail-safe SD card based uh, embedded file system. Uh, in this system we have uh, um, a fully reliable and robust fail-safe uh, design which not only depends on the software but also depends on the uh, special hardware features uh, designed into the SD uh, card um, uh, by our partner uh, Swissbit. Uh, in this demonstration here we have uh, Swissbit's industrial SD card controller uh, running on an embedded microcontroller design and we're comparing that to uh, a non-failsafe system which uses a fully traditional FAT file system uh, with a, a generic SD card which can be bought in any uh, electronics store. Um, and uh, in the operation of this system we introduce errors to the um, communications line using uh, electronic relays um, and we disturb the uh, read-write operation of the file system. Um, and the result of this uh, operation is that we have many thousands of uh, read-write operations which have been disturbed uh, and uh, from which the fully fail-safe uh, system has recovered. However, um, the uh, non-fail-safe system which uses uh, a free fat file system uh, and a generic SD card has a very high percentage of file corruptions uh, and failures which we've recorded on this demo system here. Uh, I'd like to introduce my uh, colleague uh, Pablo from uh, Swissbit. Uh, and Pablo, could you uh, explain uh, to me the benefits of using uh, um, a mechanism to ensure the, the uh, power fail safety in an SD card? Sure. So uh, basically when you use our card, what, what we can guarantee is that um, in the case of a power fail event, when you read back the data that you were writing after power fail came, uh, you get no wrong data. Either you get the data you had for this address before the power failed, mm -hmm. or you were lucky and then you get the new data. But there is no corruption of static data, there is no in-between state that you get wrong data. So basically what the key concept for this is the firmware running on the controller. Um, when you write some data to a new to a sector, it guarantees that the old data is still running around in the car. Mm -hmm. And um, when you power the car on, it's going to detect if there was a power fail issue or not. And if there is a power fail issue, it will, it will scan the data and see if the data is okay or not. In case the data is not okay, the new data that was being written, mm -hmm. it's going to be discarded and then it's going to take back the old data. Okay. So basically, whenever you have a power fail event, you get no wrong data. You get either the data you had before power fail mm -hmm. or the new data. So there's no uncertainty at any time, no. even if power interruptions and or communications interruptions There is no, no static data corruption and no uncertainty. Uh, okay, Pablo, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I'd now like to speak to uh, Dave Hughes, the uh, CEO of HCC Embedded, about the importance of uh, a system level approach uh, to ensuring a, a robust uh, file system and data integrity. Um, Dave, um, could you perhaps uh, start by explaining the importance of uh, a system level approach to uh, um, a file system which is going to guarantee data integrity? Well, probably the best way to start is to look at this demonstration. If we were to swap over the um, reliable card from Swissbit and the generic SD card, we'd actually find failures in both systems, be it our failsafe system and also on the um, free file system. And the reason for that is that um, you need to have a complete architecture from the top level to the um, physical layer. You have to have an understanding of what fail safety means and what the requirements are from each level working your way down the stack. It's clearly pointless to have a very reliable file system in a media that is totally unreliable. And that, that's just logically fairly obvious. And you have to structure that all the way up to the application layer so even the application understands what it's getting from the file system and what fail safety means at that level. And so when we say there's um, failures on both systems, using a reliable card with a, an unreliable file system will reduce the errors. Using an unreliable card with a reliable file system will reduce the errors. The only way to guarantee from application down to your data that everything is going to be fail-safe is to architect the whole system in a fail-safe way where each level understands the requirements of the layer below. Okay, so the hardware has to um, have a set of requirements which the software is aware of and in turn the software has to provide services for the hardware in order to, to ensure that from top to bottom 
the whole system is, is robust by design. Absolutely. I mean, clearly in any design, um, if, if, if one layer doesn't understand what is given to it by another layer, there's no way that it can be considered a reliable layer or it can ex expect what's going to happen next. So you have to understand every single layer. Um, the commercial SD cards we use here do not have any specification or statement about what get a certain layer of, level of service they will guarantee. Whereas the Swiss Bit card does very clearly state what level of service it gives. It gives um, absolutely reliable, either the write is complete or the yeah. reliable is not complete. We know in a brownout situation it handles it cleanly and therefore we, we, we can start to design the next level up of the system and which is the, then the file system which is using that card. Yeah. So the system by design is completely fail safe and the data is completely reliable. Exactly. Uh, okay Dave, thank you very much. Um, hopefully that uh, is a good introduction to the um, uh, most important requirements uh, in designing an embedded system uh, which uh, is high quality and guarantees uh, reliable data by design. Um, th the subject is complex uh, and on the HCC website um, at www.hcc-embedded.com uh, there is some very detailed technical information uh, and HCC engineers uh, are always willing to have uh, uh, deep technical discussion so um, visit our website and uh, uh, find out the best way to deal with uh, reliable uh, data protection.